Welcome back to another episode of the free VSC Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSDs. For today, we're looking at the Transpanner. I'm going to give this one the perfect rating of a 5 out of 5. This is a 3D audio effect VST that's a blend of a stereo width plugin and a panning plugin all in one. As you can see from the GUI right away, I will also say, which I don't know if I've ever said this on any video, I highly suggest watching this video with either headphones or on really good studio monitors. So take a second, pause this video, plug in headphones, don't watch this on a TV. I don't think it would have the same effect as if you're wearing headphones or if you're listening to this on high quality speakers. So getting into it, I have my track pulled up right now. This is my track, uh, Skydiving. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. I know some shameless self-promotion. It's like a big room techno track, side trance kind of track. So I'm gonna play you a little bit of it. So, you know. And then it goes in this kind of like side trancey groove. Right? You get the idea. So anyway, let's go now into the main point of this video. Of course, the plugin itself. Now, what's cool about this is it's pretty intuitive. It's a graph. You move around the graph. And what this does is it creates this very 3D style effect, hence the name of it. And what I can do is I'm going to turn this on now. If I'm in the middle, you're not really hearing too much. So it's also what's very interesting based off a bit of it seems like some volume. Right? So if I do like... Uh, like solo this. So I'm not hearing, let's back to stereo. I'm not really hearing anything, right? But then if I go here, so not only are you adjusting panning and some stereo width stuff in general, I'm also adjusting the volume in the sets, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go to front now. Left. Back. Oh. Right. I can, now if I do this. Really interesting to see, right? I also want to do this. Um, I'm going to bring up another free VST. Actually, the first one I think I ever reviewed on this channel. The Vox & Go MSED. So we're going to look at, you can see right here. This is kind of like a... Um, a mid-side graph or a picture. So you can see this right now, right? Um, I'm gonna go here. And you can see as I do this, you can even see how it moves around, creating this 3D-like effect. Really cool, right? I can also do this as an automation. So I'm gonna... Keep this on zero. I'm gonna go to maybe, I wanna make sure I can do this correctly, right? So let's go like here, let's go here, we do this, right? So we're gonna pull this back up just to make sure. All right, so I'm gonna, right? I'm not gonna really adjust the distance because this would make it almost mute. I could always do that. I like the GUI, gotta say. But you can see now, as I just keep this playing, It almost feels like it's moving in 360. It's super, super cool, right? And that's what's very useful about this plugin. Super easy, super intuitive. It was kind of what I like about this is I feel like I can use this in very unique ways. Like, let's say you are somebody, I know some people do follow my channel who are not musicians per se, in, in the sense that they make music to release as a song on Spotify. They're musicians in the sense that they are doing more audio engineering. Like, they make maybe cool little sound effects for cartoons or for movies, or they do more like odd engineering manipulation with sound and audio. This is the perfect plugin for that. Like let's say, and I'm, I know it sounds a bit weird, let's say you're designing some unique audio experience, if that's the best way to word it, for, uh, I don't know, like Disneyland or some type of carnival or some type of like amusement park, and you want to have this whole unique kind of effect, like say in the roller coaster or something like that. 
This allows you to manipulate audio in a very cool sensory experience way. And that's why I really want to do this video about it because like, again, I've reviewed hundreds of plugins on this channel. This is just super cool to use that's super easy and intuitive. And that's what I like about it. There's nothing really complicated to use it. Anybody could use it. I'm gonna turn off this uh, automation right now though. You can see it's very easy to automate. Um, manip manipulating both, like I said, the, the volume in a sense and doing this. And again, I can always do it just as a panner, like left to right, or front to back. And then of course, the full 360 way. Such a really unique plugin to do some really fun stereo width stuff for whatever your use is.